So here's my Jeep Wrangler 2009 Unlimited Sahara, pretty much with all the decals removed. And I was out four wheeling and shifted it out of four wheel drive or into four wheel drive and I uh, busted the uh, transfer case linkage from the four wheel drive. So I'm making a video to show people what I experienced. So maybe uh, you'll have a, an idea of potentially what went wrong with yours. So uh, let me show you the inside first. So obviously I took apart the console completely and uh, removed it. Um, it was actually pretty difficult. Um, it took me probably about a half hour, 45 minutes to uh, get all the pieces out. But the problem was, as you can see here, that's my four wheel drive, four high, four low. Um, basically the linkage cable broke. And what I found out was, if I can get a picture of it, this piece right here should hook up onto this pin, basically. And uh, there's a bushing, and there's little pieces of what was left of the bushing. Here's another piece of it here. If I can get in close. That bushing goes inside here to hold it in place and basically remove all the play. So when I broke it, it was stuck in neutral, and then my... Uh, transmission didn't work because nothing was engaged so that's where the uh, piece is that broke now there's another piece which I'm going to try and show you as well that's underneath the driver's side door on the bottom of the vehicle I'm going to get in close here so you can get a better idea see it there you can see so I'll try and get underneath the vehicle and show you that piece because both ends broke the bushings and I had to order the pieces from the Jeep dealership. So let me pan out here. All right, here's the pieces that I needed. I'm just gonna put it right out there. Excuse the wind, I get it in the sun. And then you can see it a little bit better. Those are the pieces or the bushings that you would need and they look like this these little guys you can see that there see all ends and from what I gather for doing this the first time uh, let me back away is that this piece needs to go in here or like this side here and then this is going to snap on. So I'm going to show you that as well. See how difficult it really is. Looks simple, but I don't know. I think you might have to pry it on. So I'm going to go underneath the vehicle and try and get you a shot. Um, basically, here's the door. Driver's side door going down underneath. Right about this spot here. And going underneath the vehicle. Where you want it to be. Up and around this piece here. Uh, right where my hand is here, you can see behind this, whatever this is, looks like part of a uh, looks like part of the uh, um, drive shaft. Up and around, I'm trying to get up in there if I can to show you what it looks like. There's a piece that looks just like the other end. Can't really get a good shot of it. kind of on the end of that and has the same right up in here has the same type of pin and uh, loop setup or uh, connection so let me back out anyway so what I want to attempt to do is put those pieces on and see if I need to force them on and get that uh, my four-wheel drive working again because uh, once I had it in neutral, obviously the uh, transmission wouldn't even work and the car wouldn't even drive. So I'm going to put the uh, camera down and I'll show you a picture and see if I can't snap that stuff into place. I 
not getting a good angle here. All right, so um, I just put the camera down and uh, angled it up to the spot I want it. And I'm going to try and get these pieces on and see what happens. So I'm going to try and force this bushing inside here first. Do it. Oh, yep, snapped right in. Pretty simple. So now I got it, the bushing into the link arm or the linkage, as you can see. Pretty much just snapped right in the back side. And now I'm going to try and push that part onto this piece or this post right here. And that should hopefully connect, reconnect the uh, transfer case linkage. Uh, yeah, basically snapped right into place. Uh, pretty simple, actually. Uh, I'm kind of shocked. So, uh, um, if you run into this problem, you're four-wheeling, and um, you've come to find that uh, this got locked out into uh, four-wheel drive or four high or low or even neutral, as it happened to me, and I was stuck in the mud without any transmission, having that piece right there, I'll show you another piece, that piece exactly right there, show you both sides, give you the part number on it as well, that's going to help tremendously. I bought every single one at the Jeep dealer I could find, all six of them. And um, hopefully you uh, don't run into this problem, but I think having a few of these are, is going to be handy. Now, the one thing, everything, the reason I'm doing this video is because everything I found online, um, I couldn't find this actual footage um, of how this works and how it gets snapped on and where to find it. Because you have a uh, console piece right here, you could probably lift out or notch a piece right here, which I may do on mine and just put a flap on it just in case it breaks again. I'll have extra pieces. Um, obviously, I shouldn't uh, be breaking it too often, but a lot of people said that they're going to also put a um, brass bushing there, which um, to me, I don't think makes sense. Um, if you have a brass bushing there, I think I'd rather this plastic bushing break than actually have the... Um, uh, you know, you keep grinding the gears uh, in and out of four-wheel drive. Again, I'm not a mechanic, but uh, enough to know that um, I don't want to be grinding the gears in the uh, transmission or the transfer cases. So, I think um, having some of these on hand would probably be pretty handy if you're going to go out wheeling and you ever run into this problem. And uh, I'm not going to put brass bushings on there. I'll, uh, I'll let these break and I'll just keep buying them. I only, they were only like two or three bucks a piece. So I bought like six of them at the Jeep dealer, every one they had. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, gave you some insight as to um, how to fix a problem. Uh, if you ever uh, find that this actually snaps or you know, isn't responding, and uh, to get you back on the uh, trails wheeling again. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.